AM 1260 KLYC, we are once again at the Yamhill County Clerk's Office talking to Brian Van Bergen and looking at the number of ballots that are out and what's going on in the races. There are, I understand, Brian, about 250 ballots still to be counted? There are, in a couple of different states uh, of of being. They're, they're uh, on their way back to us from other counties. Uh, so there are a number of ballots where people didn't sign them, and we've sent letters out to those voters asking them to come to our office to sign their ballots. Some ballots where their signature on our file didn't match the signature on the envelope, those people too need to come in and uh, correct those those signatures before we can count those ballots. Now, this can be a slow process. Yesterday, you told me that you counted five ballots. <laughs> we, we did. We processed five of the ballots that, that uh, came through, and uh, we also updated the write-in results for uh, all those ballots that we've done so far, and those results are now posted on our website. Now, as you look at the numbers here, and especially if you go online and check them out, we have, you have, you understand, about 246 ballots out, correct? We do, right. In uh, it, some are coming back from other counties as we speak. Uh, the rest of them are here in our office, waiting for people to come in and, and correct their signatures. So, as you get your calculator out and look at the races and do the math, you find that there are, the, of course, the school bond issues. School bond in Willamina, in particular, is uh, quite close. When you look at our results on our website, it is deceiving uh, because there are a number of voters in. Polk County, that uh, those ballots need to be counted as well. At r today, at this very moment, uh, the school bond in Willamina is passing by a margin of 18 votes. All right, and that counts both both counties. When you add up both counties, when you look at our county, the the uh, ballot is or, or the measure is failing but it is succeeding well enough in Polk County that actually turns the election. Now let's talk about the commissioner position number three race, the Mary Starrett. That what comes to mind is the Dewey wins, and that's what everybody is always thinking about here. So as we take a look at Mary Starrett, she has 50% plus one. She actually has 50%, 51% of the vote now. Correct. There's 246 votes out there yet to be count, counted. Statistically, not every single one of those is going to be voting for an opponent of Mary. I'm sure Mary will pull in some of those ballots as they're counted. So where are we in the Starrett race? Mary Starrett today has 196 votes, more than she needs, to win. But like you say, there are nearly 250 ballots that could be counted if those signatures get corrected. So... It is theoretically possible, if enough votes swing the other way, that she may not win. Highly unlikely, statistically, theoretically possible. So, again, and how long is it going to take to get all of these 246 in? Now, yesterday we did four or five. Each of these voters has 14 days to get their signatures corrected. So this could linger on for days and days. And we can't certify our election results until after that point. So actually, it will be June 3rd before we certify the election results. Let's talk about write-ins. Now, you're getting to the point where you're doing, you're validating and making sure that the signatures match and the correct person voted. Now you're to the point where you're going through the write-ins. There are not enough write-ins for individual uh, write-in candidates to make a difference. That's true for any of the statewide races, for any of the countywide races, for that matter. No write-ins exceeded anything uh, or, or are noteworthy. But they become noteworthy in the precinct committee person races, where it only takes three to win. And most of those races... Uh, most of those positions, there are three possible or four possible and, and six and eight possible, depending on how large the precinct is. For example, as we look at uh, the write-ins for uh, position three, Yamhill County Commissioner, there's a total of 33 write-ins that have been counted so far, and a lot of those are for individual people, another possibly 33 different people, although I'm sure one or two got two votes, but 
There exactly. was quite a scattering. Quite a scattering. And it does take a considerable amount of time to hand type in all of those results. Well, actually trying to decipher the handwriting of all of those different people and then typing in the results. And what we've done on, on the report that's live on our website right now is only showed those, re or those write-ins where it's the particular person got a number of votes that, w that would make it worthy of, of showing up on the report. We didn't itemize each individual re uh, vote. So it could be until early June, June 6th? Uh, June 3rd. June 3rd. Uh, that is the day that we'll, uh, we'll know for sure, uh, the result of this, this election. So as we stand right now, the, most l the one that is most, I hate to say most likely to change, but the chances of it changing are greater than the other races are probably the Willamina school bond issue. Exactly. That seems to be the closest one right now, the one that has the, the most potential for change. Uh, I know there's a lot of interest in the Yamhill Carlton schools bond, but that spread between it failing and passing is so considerable that even if all 250 went one way, it wouldn't change the, the end net result. So that's where we are in the elections, the election that keeps on going, at least for a few more days yet. Thank you, Brian. Exactly. Thank you, Dave. Appreciate it. And an additional note, there have been a couple of individuals that have inquired about recounts with the Yamhill County Clerk's Office. According to Brian Van Bergen, here is the situation with that. If a recount is requested and the actual outcome or result of the election changes, not the individual vote totals, but the actual outcome or decision of the election, if that changes, then the county pays for the recount. If it does not change, then the individual or organization asking for the recount pays the cost of the recount. The last time they had a recount, uh, estimates are it cost about $2,500, and some of that has to be prepaid with the Secretary of State's office before a recount can go forward. So far, just inquiries have been, ma have been made Obviously, there has been no request officially for a recount because the results of this latest election have not yet been certified. AM 1260, KLYC.